Um, hi everyone, my name is Ainun Fiani Rizky and today I would like to present our paper entitled A User-Centered Approach to Design a Financial Asset Investment Mobile Application for Building Invest Investing Eagerness. Um, first of all, I would like to apologize for coming away to the conference due to the short circuit in my place and that my laptop um, always needs to be charged, so I need to find a place to charge my laptop, um, my deepest apology. Um, so uh, today I would like to talk about the problem, uh, the background, the problem, the goal, the methodology, the solution design and, and the analysis, the implementation and the testing, and the conclusion and the suggestion of the paper. So I'll start with the background. Um, one of the human goals is to be able to meet the needs of life. And to meet the needs of life, humans will need to earn income. And income can be divided into two types, namely active income and passive income. And active income is obtained from doing work related to the provision, while the passive income is obtained without the need to do any effort. And actually, one way, one way to earn passively is to invest. And the definition of the investment or investing itself is an activities or activities either directly or indirectly with the hope that the person will get the benefits in the future as the result of the activities. Um, in general, there are two types of investment, namely investment in financial assets and investment in real assets. Investment in financial assets are investment that have no form, for example, stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. Um, while the investment in real assets are investments that have tangible forms, um, for example, like houses, gold, and land. Um, investment in financial assets is identical to the potential for large profits with all, unless the great risk, but has an easier disbursement mechanism compared to investing in real assets. And because of the convenience of investment in financial assets, the development of it in Indonesia is growing rapidly. And as 2020, there are 3.2 million of people uh, in Indonesia um, uh, that are identified for single investor identification. But if we uh, compare the SID to the total population of Indonesia, it is only 1.22%, um, which is significantly low compared to other Southeast Asia's country. Uh, in Singapore, there in Singapore has 26% of, of percentage of the populations, and the Malaysia has 9%. Um, Currently, there are many mobile applications that can be used by Indonesians to invest, such as Tokbit, Bereksa, Bibit, Tokopedia, Mutual Funds, iPod, and Ajaib. Um, these applications are trying to create an easier way to invest in financial assets, which allow users to monitor, purchase, and sell investment products in real time because they are directly connected with the capital market in Okay. Uh, however, however, users have to devote their special time to learn about the patterns and the features contained in the applications before they actually can invest. Um, moreover, in fact, application, uh, some applications such as Bibit, Bareksa, and Tokopedia only have one type of investment instrument. So um, if the user needs another type of instrument, they want to invest in another type uh, then the user needs to download and install another application. Um, so uh, from the background, uh, we can actually see the problem here that the first one is the lack of knowledge regarding the investment, which the president director of the Indonesia Stock Exchange also confirmed that one of the causes of the low numbers of investors in Indonesia is the lack of knowledge of the of the about the investing in the capital market. And then the second one, uh, the problem, the second problem is investing application is hard to use and the investors or the um, potential investor lacks of investing motivation. 
So the goal of this paper is to develop a mobile application instruction design for financial asset investment in the form of high fidelity prototype that is able to achieve user usability and user experience goals. And the, the prototype will be developed using the user-centered design approach or methodology. So here's the methodology of user-centered design uh, by ISO 9241. To 190 um, in the year of 2010. So there are actually six steps. The first step is planning the UCD design process. The second step is to understand and determine the conduct of use. The third one, determine um, the user needs. The fourth one, create design solution to meet user requirements. And the next, uh, we need to evaluate the design solution. And finally, we can have the design solution that meets user requirements. Um, the UCD methodology is chosen because UCD can improve user experience and is user focused and also uh, can validate problems analysis to the user itself. Um, here are the process um, that that is done in achieving the solution in this paper. So we first go from the assumption, um, assumption of the user requirements and the feature requirements. And then after that, we go to the validation that is done through the questionnaire. And after the questionnaire, we try to understand what is the real problem, what, what are the user needs, and what are the real required features. And after that, we design uh, the solutions. And for each design, we evaluate. And finally, uh, after the evaluation, um, the design that meets the user needs is produced. So um, here are the problem assumptions. So uh, we, we have an assumption that existing investing application does not provide knowledge, education, or insights to users. And the second one uh, have a lot of functionality and it makes the application be complex and is difficult to use. The third one have not been able to provide motivation to invest in the users. And the fourth one, the existing of financial asset uh, don't have complete and comprehensive data regarding the investment products. And here are our solution assumption regarding the solutions. Um, so uh, an investing application that uh, first, able to provide education content that can be easily used by all type of investors, uh, able to provide motivation to invest to the users and provide comprehensive and com complete company related data. Um, so the validation is done through the questionnaire uh, with the 418 respondents with the confidence level of 95% and margin of error is 5%. So from the questionnaire, um, we actually have this problem. Uh, from the investor sites, there are five problems, such as the burdens on the financial asset investments up are not intuitive enough, so they are difficult to use, and they have also have experienced loss of motivation loss of motivation to invest, and the application uh, couldn't provide motivation for them to reinvest. And then they feel like the data to investment products presented in the application is uh, in incomplete. And then the appearance of the application is com complicated. So it's confusing for them to use. And um, the features of the financial asset investment application have not been able to accommodate their needs. Um, for the non-investor side, they say that they are still afraid of experiencing loss when they are uh, doing investment in financial assets, and they find it difficult to study and analyze financial assets. And also, they don't have enough time to uh, do the monitoring to the investment assets. So from the questionnaire also, we uh, have these 11 features that will be, that will be developed in, in the product, such as dictionary, and then second one, articles, videos, and podcasts. The third one is graphic pattern education. The fourth one is the trending. The fifth one, risk profile quiz, and then the next one, button customization, and then innovative buttons, gamification, complete data, uh, calendar and company updates and reports. And here we have uh, persona. The first one is Ian. Um, he is an investor. Uh, he has short and long-term assets 
and also he have experienced lots of motivation to invest. And the second one, we have Mia, and she is a non-investor, but she has an uh, interest in investing. So uh, we define that the usability and the user experience goals as below the usability goals is uh, effective to use and then easy to learn while the user experience goals should be helpful and motivating. Okay, so the prototype that we have made, um, it, we have the two product, which is low fidelity product and high fidelity product. The development of this product is carried, carried out with Adobe XD and each product that is made testing and evaluation will is carried out to find the shortcomings. Um, so for the low fidelity prototype, uh, it has nine main, main features, namely login and sign up, risk profile, risk profile quiz, application tour, dictionary, education page, um, push notification, quick access calendar and referral code. Uh, for gamification. And here is the high fidelity prototype. Actually, the implementation of the high fidelity prototype, um, the application is given like a representative colors and image so that the user are expected to feel pleasant when using the application. Also, the provision of colors, icons, and image can be seen in the features that have been made. Um, and also, there are also enhancements that based on the test results on the low fidelity prototype, such as addition to the addition to the logo on the on the several page. And also the applic application give user more choice whether the user want to do to do the activities in the application. And also giving a dark blue dominant color with a powerful light blue gradient will be able to um, escalate the overall appearance of the application design. Okay, so the testing um, actually have like, um, is, is done using simple easy equation or SAQ and system usability score or SUS and IMI or intrinsic motivation, I'm sorry, or intrinsic motivation inventory. So for the low fidelity, the prototype is tested on eight people with the completion rate is 100% on completing the task with the SAQ score is 6.55 out of seven and the SUS score is 80, 86 out of 100. And for the high fidelity, the prototype is tested on seven people with the completion rate is 100%. Um, the SAQ score is 6.59 and the SUS score is 86 out of 100. And the IME score for value or usefulness is 6.5 out of 7. And for interest and enjoyment is 6.3 out of 7. So here are the conclusion of this paper, um, the usability and the user experience goals in financial asset investment application is effective to use and easy to learn and also helpful and motivating. And the result of this paper is interaction design of financial asset investment application that you that is, uh, that is designed using the human-centered design refers to ISO standard and the result of this design is high fidelity prototype. Um, the next conclusion is about the application interaction design that have able to meet the user's um, needs with the SAQ. The final SAQ score is 6.59. The final SUS score is 88% and the IME score is 6.5 and 6.3. And for the intrinsic motivation, um, we acknowledge that in doing investing in financial asset, it is important for the user or for the investor to have intrinsic motivation. And the suggestion for future works uh, could be adding goals such as, such as efficient to use and safe to use for usability goals and enhancing sociability for user experience goals. And then the second suggestion would be testing of the interaction design um, should be carried out face-to-face -face directly and by using a cell phone because in this paper, the testing is um, used online and through the laptop. 
And the third suggestion is the analyze should not be only um, in application financial asset investment application in Indonesia, but also financial asset investment application used in other countries. So there are a lot of benchmark uh, that can be uh, carried through the research. So yeah, um, I think that's all from me. Thank you for your attention. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you, Ainun. Let's move to the QA session. So there is one question here from Memara Sam. Is description of users tested not required for USD process evaluation? I'm sorry if it should be common sense. Um, uh, I'm sorry, I don't quite understand about the description of users. Um, is it like the information of the users? Yes, uh, what kind are the, the age or the education or the interest or some other things? Because are they, uh, I'm pretty much interested.